Hey fam and welcome back to I Love Me Me Me. So we're going to talk about the seven ways to reach relationship satisfaction right after this. All right, fam, thanks so much for coming back. So the seven tips to reach relationship satisfaction. The first one, I'm just going to go ahead and give it to you guys. I usually give this one towards the end or even as a last, but this one is so very important. So you guys know that I'm a Christian. So what am I talking about? I am talking about praying together. This is actually, I just read recently, or did I hear it on audio? Doesn't matter. The point is, just recently, just recently, I either heard or read that the people that pray together actually have the highest relationship satisfaction and to boot women, because women, we talk about, we talk about the big O right now, the orgasm. Women actually orgasm more often when they pray with their spouses, when they pray with their partner. So just think about that. This is why I wanted to give you this juicy one first, too, okay? Because who don't like to orgasm, okay? So praying with your spouse is the number one way to be super, super satisfied in your relationship. Even when you guys are having fights or something, because you guys have started the tradition to actually pray together, there is a, something that calms your nerves down when you start to pray and give reverence to God. And during this time of prayer, you probably are actually praying for your spouse as well. You're, you're, you're praying for your spouse as well, as well as the relationship, calming down the nerves that, especially if you guys just had a fight or something, you guys are calming down the nerves. But I, again, I wanted to give you this juicy one first because praying together shows women often have orgasms much easier and faster when you guys practice praying together. Which actually leads me into tip number two. Because you are guys praying, because you guys are praying together, you do not want to forget to pray separately. Not only are you praying separately, you are absolutely praying for your spouse, partner, mate as well. So number one, you're praying together. But then don't forget, number two is to pray apart, and you are praying for your spouse as well. Of course, you're praying about a plethora of other things, right? But specific to your relationship, which is my, what my channel is all about, about, right? So specific to your relationship that you are making sure that you are praying for your spouse about you guys' relationship, about the togetherness, about whatever it is that you need to be praying about, but also that you want to have God's hands placed on your mate, on your spouse. Something that I'm currently doing right now, which is making sure that I am laying hands on my spouse for the next 30 days because there's something that I want to uh, achieve in my own relationship and that is what I am working on currently so if hubby not listening to this I don't do it when he's woke I do it when he sleeps so he might not even know that he's getting prayed over but I told y'all I am a praying woman if you didn't hear that from you know I told you guys that several times but definitely a few months ago so I'm saying it again so if hubby don't watch this video he don't even know he getting prayed over okay moving on point number three. Third way to be super satisfied within your relationship is to actually just be empathetic put yourself in the shoes of your partner hear and listen to what they are saying take it in and just try not to be judgmental whatever it is that they need to talk to you about whatever it is that you guys are going through the trial the tribulation whatever is going on put yourself in your spouse's situation that way your, your heart is absolutely going to soften because now you are the one who's in their shoes. You are the one who's trying to come to talk to you about whatever the issue is. Just being more empathetic. Couples are more satisfied when they know that their spouse is empathetic toward them and obviously vice versa. The fourth way to know that you will be super satisfied in your relationship is that when you know that you and your partner are both in it all in y'all all in in the relationship together and you definitely know you know what he got my back or if you're the guy she got my back you all but y'all both all in y'all both all in 
which leads me to point number five, which is you both are putting in the effort to make sure that your spouse, to make sure that your mate is happy. Now, Obviously, you can't make them be happy, right? But you're definitely adding to their happiness. You are both making an effort to make sure that the relationship is running smoothly. You're actually doing relationship check-ins to see what you guys can actually work on. Actually, me and, my, me and my husband just had a relationship conversation about what we both need to work on in our relationship. So you have to do these checkups. Don't get it twisted. A lot of times when you have these checkups, you're not going to like what your spouse has to say because we feel that we are perfect and we don't need to change anything, right? But when you are doing these checkups, you are more satisfied, especially if you both are all in and you both are making an effort. And just because I am making an effort, just because my husband is making an effort doesn't mean we're going to be on the, the scale or the level that we want our spouse to be on. But as long as you are trying, you are making the effort to do better, to 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 bring the wholeness to yourself and, and you being whole, you're bringing that wholeness to relationship. You are making the effort to do it. Okay, just because you have not attained the level that you want to be at or even that your spouse wants you to be at, it's okay. One day at a time, one step at a time, one foot in front of the other, you are making the effort. It is absolutely going to pay off exponentially in your relationship, especially when you both are trying to be and you want to be satisfied in your relationship. The sixth thing to take into consideration is to help your partner's stress to be alleviated. So you know, so you know what your partner's stresses are, whether it's at the job, right? It could be something that is around the house. Maybe you yell too much. Maybe the kids are all over the place. Maybe the house is a mess. You know what your spouse's stressors are because I'm sure they have said it before in an irritated manner, <laughs> to say the least. So you know what the stressors are. Try to help to alleviate that stress because when we are going home to our spouses and our mates, I want to actually go home and be at peace. I don't want to have to come home to a place where we argue and we fuss and we fight and all the time because you are adding to my stress. You're not taking away from it. So if I am outside in the world and I have all this stress coming around me, it doesn't matter what the stress is, but it's all circulating around. You could just be having a pissed off day, right? And then I got to come home and deal with you and be even more pissed off. Like, when do I get a break? So I want to get a break. And your spouse want to get a break too. So if you can help to alleviate that stress, maybe the dishes need to be done. Y'all know I talk about that. My husband hates the dishes in the sink. But for me, if you ain't going to do them, bruh, I need a break. So, <laughs> so uh, hey, help to alleviate some of my stress. I be tired of doing dishes. And y'all know I told y'all I ain't got no dishwasher either. I'm tired of hand washing. But we didn't move to another place where I'm hand washing. Anywho, besides the points. Help to alleviate your spouse's stress. Let me also bring up the children. Specifically for you men out there who hardly help your wife or your woman. Alleviate some of her stress. Take the kids. Yes, they are a handful. But don't think that they're not a handful for your wife either. Or your girlfriend or the person that you are engaged to. The kids are a handful, period. And it seems like women take this on a lot easier. You know the reason why? Because we deal with them. It's not because we're so happy to deal with because they got little attitudes too, right? We still got to deal with the kids' drama too as women. We don't have no choice. We just jump in there and do it. Th that is the choice. We jump in there and do it. So for men, it's not that women do it so much better. It's because you guys aren't practicing doing it. And the woman has a lot of practice doing that. So all I'm saying, bro, is just try to help your woman out to alleviate some of her stress as well, especially when it comes to the kids, especially when it comes to the domestic duties as well. Because as we know, we both are working nowadays. And again, I will say this in every video as much as possible <laughs> because I want you guys to jump on more on board when it comes to the children and the domestic duties because the women, most women are not stay at home uh, 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 wives or stay at home mothers any longer. We are actually still out there working just as much as you guys and then you want us to come home and still clean up the house, the entire house and rear the children by ourselves too. We need some help. Simple as that. We need some help. And I hear this all the time. 
So I know that this is still occurring. Men, some men are stepping up more and more, but this is not across the board by and large. It's so far away from that. We need some help, fellas. We need some help. The seventh way to make sure that you will have relationship satisfaction is that when you go to your partner and you're speaking to your partner about something that you want them to work on, you talk to them without blaming them. So you are free to speak about the issue without blame. All right, fam, these are the seven tips in order to have relationship satisfaction. Which one resonated with you? Which one could I've added on? I mean, you know that this is a dialogue here and not a monologue. So go ahead and add your comments down in the comment section below. Of course, give me thumbs up if you like this video and think about subscribing here.